prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We continue our journey this season of Lent in the spirit of prayer. And in our prayer, may we have a deeper knowledge of God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O Lord, that with our hearts set on the Paschal mysteries, we may be gladdened by their full effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. 
Let us know, let us try to know the Lord. As certain as the dawn is His coming, and His judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like the spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocaust. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Please all stand. Kapag ngayon ang aking man ang tinig ng buong mahal huwag matig yung handangan ang pagsasak at kumalan ng nitin The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning we are given by our Lord Jesus Christ a lesson in prayer. 
and we see and we heard his parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector who entered the temple to pray. First, Jesus recounted what the Pharisee did. Upon entering the temple, do you think he really prayed? Sa tingin niyo ba mga kapatid, nagdasal talaga yung pariseyo pagpasok niya sa templo? I think he did not pray. He just compared himself to the other person. That is why in the gospel, Jesus described his prayer as talking to himself. He was not even talking to God. He was just talking to himself. Kinumpara lang niya ang sarili niya doon sa makasalan ng tao na katabi niya. He was not praying. He was comparing himself to others. And he was just referring always to himself. It is my holiness. It is my righteousness. It is my work, my prayer. He always referred to himself and comparing himself to others. That is not prayer. That is just comparing yourself to others. But the other person, the tax collector, just said a simple prayer. He said, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He did not even compare himself with the other person, the Pharisee. He was just talking to God and his own relationship with God. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa umagang ito na tayo ay natitipon po dito para magdasal, ito ang tinuturo sa atin na aral ni Jesus tungkol sa pagdarasal. Huwag ninyong ikukumpara ang sarili ninyo sa iba. Sapagkat hindi kayo makakapagdasal kapag ang laman ng isip natin palagi ay puro pagkukumpara ng ating sarili sa kapwa. Lagi lang mapupuno ang puso natin ng inggit. Lagi lang mapupuno ang puso natin ng galit, disappointment kapag ang lagi nating iniisip ay pagkukumpara ng ating sarili sa iba. That is why our first reading today in the book of the prophet Hosea, holiness according to the prophet tells us, is not about knowing ourselves only, but first of all, holiness is knowledge of the Lord. Ang kabanalan ay ang kilalanin ang Diyos at ang makilala ang Diyos. Kabaliktaran po nung nangyari sa Ebanghelyo, ang pagdarasal ng Pariseyo ay puro tungkol sa kanyang sarili. At ang gusto lamang niya, ang makilala, hindi ang awa ng Diyos. Ang gusto niya, ang makilala, ang kanyang sariling kabanalan. According to our first reading, holiness is knowledge of the Lord. Ang makilala natin lalo ang Panginoon. And we must not just boast of ourselves, we must boast of the mercy of God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us stop comparing ourselves to others. And when we stop comparing ourselves to others, then you have already begun praying. Amen.
Please stand. With contrite and humble hearts, we stand in the presence of God. Let us respond to these intentions with humble and sincere prayer. For every petition, let us say, Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord that the church may be a sure haven for sinners and outcasts. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy flow to us, us O Lord. Lord, that public servants may show special concern for women, children, orphans, the elderly, and the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy flow, flow to us, O Lord. Lord, that believers may deepen their prayer and penance especially in this season of Lent. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord, that the sick may experience the healing power of Christ and thus give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your mercy flow to us, O Lord. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy, mercy flow to us, O Lord, Lord, that those who have died may enjoy light, happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let your, your mercy flow to us, O Lord. Lord. Father, you search our hearts and discern our needs. In your mercy, grant what we ask in prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, by whose grace it comes to pass, that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure. Grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor, 
and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May we truly revere, O merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us, and may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ang lumba 